Yo, what's up guys and welcome back. It's Wednesday. Sorry, I got carried away. It's Wednesday. This is making like a weird sound right now. By the way, if you guys didn't check out my video I posted yesterday, feel free and do so. Go to my YouTube, check the previous video. I actually taught Lee, my cameraman, some magic. It was pretty cool. But today, we are doing a puzzle. <laughs> I just keep repeating the same thing. The puzzle we are looking at today, as you saw from the intro, is the marble puzzle. I figured out recently that huzzle, ja the Japanese word for take apart, which starts with an H, which I can't pronounce right now, uh, but mixed with puzzle, and that's what made a huzzle. So they stopped calling their puzzles cast puzzles. Fun fact. But anyways, it's a take apart and put together puzzle by Hanayama. Five stars out of six, making it roughly a level nine or 10. It looks absolutely intriguing, mesmerizing, and like an alien relic and exactly what I look for in a puzzle. Can't wait to try and solve it. If you're interested in this puzzle or other Hanayama puzzles, feel free to check the link below. Thousands of puzzles available at puzzlemaster.com. I'll leave the link, or puzzlemaster.ca rather. And I'll leave the link, you guys can check them out there. Without any further ado, let's get into solving the marble puzzle. Here we go. Back at it again. Hey, by the way, this is kind of cool. You can kind of see my setup right here. You see my camera over top. You see me. Hello. Hi. Five stars out of six, making it a level nine or 10. What's cool about this, I mentioned, it kind of looks like, I really like when puzzles look like alien relics uh, because there's nothing familiar here. This is kind of just really out of the ordinary. Look at, look at how the sides shift here. Look at that. What is even happening? The marble. So the whole point here is to take apart. And let's see if we can do that in a sensible way. Uh, these lips here, I remember this from the uh, from the UFO puzzle, where this at a certain angle would be able you'd be able to extract and uh, and take take out that piece. However, I also know that this is going to be twice as hard to put together. So here we go. Oh, does that rotate? Oh, this is bizarre, man. Look at this. Wow. Kind of fiddling around here. Hopefully, there's some type of opening. So here. Okay. So that ball in the middle is kind of shaped like a baseball where the seams uh, loop around like that. All right, let's try the rotating move here. So rotate. And then is it possible to rotate here? No, it is not. Oh, okay. So you have two pieces on the outside that are shaped like U's. There's a U here and a U there. Here U, there U, everywhere U, U. Oh, so these pieces might be able to shift in a way, depending on how that ball is rotated. Oh, this is an interesting puzzle. Yeah, you're really like, this is left field, man. Ooh, oh no, forgot the timer. There you go, there you go chat. You get you get one, all right? You get one every month. One timer forget every month, that's all you get. Okay, now, normally Hanayama, when they put their logo somewhere, that usually gives you a sense of orientation. Hopefully that'll help me in some way, I don't know yet. Oh, this is bizarre. I'm gonna try to line up the seams with the round parts here. Here. When in doubt, spin it out. How should I just, just solve it like this? Mm-hmm. Not an easy one, that's for sure, because it's so weird. Okay, what's happening here? How do I disassemble the marble first or do I try and extract the U pieces? And I'm I'm thinking I gotta disassemble the marble first. That's the key component, so maybe. I'm trying to let gravity sort of uh, separate those two pieces and hopefully one of those two sort of baseball seams slides out. You see right here, it's coming apart. Look right there. I don't know if you can see that. 
in there, that seam is coming apart. You can see a little bit of it. That's cool. Okay, I don't wanna lose that. And I lost it, okay, I lost it. That comes back, okay. Oh, look at here, look at here. Look on the side, look how it's separated. Okay, so how do I keep it separated? Maybe Offspring can help? You gotta keep it separated. Hey, just gonna get flagged now. Okay, back to that. That was a good, so that's a good move right there. Boom. Yep. How do I, how do I get that out? Nope. Come on, go back to where you were. So it's like these U pieces, when twisted in a certain way, push on the inner marble and start separating the pieces. It's really hard for you guys to see anything here. Tricky, tricky. I gotta find that sweet spot once again. Oh! Whoa! Bam! Look at that! Look at this little guy! How pretty is that? Wow! So by shifting the pieces, uh, what did it end up doing? is this middle ball would rotate with the friction from one of these sides until eventually it would push one of the sides out and so that it would separate. It would allow it to separate. Um, I'm gonna try to get this back together. That is so cool. Look at this little marble. How cool is that? That looks like an alien relic. Yo, five minutes, four and a half minutes. All right, we're definitely not back together yet though, so don't uh, get your hopes up just yet, ladies and gentlemen. This is probably going to be a nightmare and a test of dexterity here. Oh boy. Okay, I already see where this is going. <laughs> Can't I just like do what I did? Would that work? I'm sure there's a better way of doing this. That definitely goes here and then it goes there. Got you. Oh, so it has to follow the openings precisely, kind of like that. So here, the opening to this puzzle, you can line up uh, that half exactly to where the, the minimum amount of lines is showing. See that right there? How it's like all lined up square? and flush. My guess is you have to go square and flush with these edges and square and flush with these edges. Yes, and knowing Hanayama, you gotta be pretty precise. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Definitely not working. Oh my God, okay. Just the wrong way. Let's try it again. Can't give up now. Here, and maybe on this side. So is it this way? Or is it this way? It's gonna be that way, okay. Hmm, so what if I just line it up, lift it out? Oh, cause that has to fit in there first. Before I do the push in move. Oh my God. Just a matter of rotating these pieces to the proper orientation, but very hard to do because all the other pieces are sort of slipping and sliding around. I just wiggle my way in. Okay. okay so there's a rotation move here to do first. It's crazy, man. The manufacturing of these things really blows my mind. So these sides are identical. So close, but not really. this rotation move that I have to do. Okay, that has to be there so that, that can pass over. So if I was like this, it wouldn't be lined up, but you can line it up in a way right there that like the minimum amount is showing. But when I do that with the other one, so if I line this one up in the same way, is as soon as I bring it in, it starts to rotate the outer pieces and then the two balls don't line up anymore, which is very tricky. 
there's there's like this move that has to be executed with the uh, with the balls before that the the two U pieces are hinged together. So look, I'll give you a quick bird's eye. So I'm here. Now, as soon as this U piece goes down, watch what happens to that ball on the inside. See how it rotates? And that's what kind of screws up my orientation. So I kind of have to anticipate that rotation move with this guy, is what I'm saying. I have to have the top piece already in that rotation mode without it falling out, which is easier said than done. And let's try it out here. So that's gonna rotate like this. So this ideally, oh, it's so slippery. Ideally would be like this. See, that was close. I was on the right track. Oh. God. This is so annoying. This piece here is just like fighting gravity, not staying where it needs to be. They rotate. <sighs> Four minutes to take apart. I'm on 15 minutes to put back together. Come on. They have to rotate and coalesce. That's the problem. Like, as soon as that thing closes, these, these balls have to like rotate in as the things rotate, but in, in a different way. So you have to line them up to a precise manner. It's really hard to do. See how that one rotates that way, that one rotates this other side. This one's gotta be more of this. I like a little bit of a corkscrew effect here. That one's more that way, so maybe. Oh, that was cool. Almost worked. Wait, so what if like the bottoms, what if those push together and make it rotate in a certain way? So hard to keep these things. This is so hard. <sighs> it seems so straightforward, like you would align the pieces exactly, put them in, but the factor is these these things that are holding onto the half balls make the balls rotate in a certain way where the U's won't fit anymore. I don't know if that makes sense. Everything has to fit precisely at the same time in sequence, in coalescence. And if not, everything falls apart or everything just doesn't fit. It's just so hard to hold it upside down and make it go in. Ooh, what if this is like the, uh, what is that puzzle to cast, diamond? Ooh, that would be cool. Let's see if that works. Man, they're so fidgety. Aligned. And aligned. Right there. How do I hold this so it doesn't move anymore? I'm gonna get my head under here and keep hitting the mic with my hat. Let's try this. Whoa! Got it. Okay. 
So one more time for good measure. Oh wow, that's interesting. So these pieces have to shift like this to come apart and then back together. Boom. Wow, that is cool. How satisfying is that? Lining up, look, you line up this line. Now you can shift them. And now they come apart. And then you line up the lines again. And then shift them into each other again. Boom, wow. <gasps> that is cool. What a cool solution. Okay, woo. 34 minutes plus give or take five minutes. The Huzzle Hanayama Marble. What? <laughs> uh, I swore, I swore that that was the last time I'd ever do that. Also, forgot the timer a little bit. So, Chris reverting back to his old ways, I guess. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that puzzle. Super satisfying. Uh, frustrating as most of the Hanayama puzzles are at first. Like, when you don't understand, you're using force, you're rattling, you're, you're spinning it, you're throwing it, shaking it at times, uh, breaking down emotionally. But other times, you know, you get that successful, amazing rush of endorphin that, that, that when, when the pieces just coalesce perfectly, it feels like, man, does it feel good. I digress. Uh, if you like this video, guys, uh, smash like, check out yesterday's video, and uh, subscribe, and leave a notification, uh, you know what to do. See you on the next video. <gasps> Peace.